Welcome to Questions in Physics. My name is Joseph Cianciamino. Theoretical physics has always been a passion of mine, though my career path in life has instead taken me into communications and technology. However, most of my life as a hobby I've delved into those gray areas that remain unresolved. This has led me into several ideas. These are not quite theories, but quite a bit more than just a simple hypothesis. So rather than trying to prove these concepts one way or another, I want to present these instead as questions to be considered. I want to share in this exploration of the unknown. I will be basing this information on well-known accepted physics, but leading into areas that may go against currently accepted theories. I will try my best to emphasize the difference between that which is accepted from that which is experimental. Some of these ideas are my own, while others were from classical theorists that got lost in the history. When a scientist is researching a concept, often there are choices and paths to be made, and some of those paths remain unexplored. Perhaps at the time of the research, the other path went against what was considered accepted theory of the time, but many years later, accepted theory changes and that path remains unexplored. Or perhaps one path or the other would take a lifetime to explore, and difficult decisions are made to explore only one path. Again, more often than not, the other path remains unexplored. They say that a scientist spends half their lifetime trying to figure out a new theory. After they discover this new idea, they spend the other half their lifetime trying to get their new theory accepted. In the process of peer review, these unexplored paths become potential threats to the theory not being accepted. So often these paths are not well documented or even hidden from view. Here I must emphasize that I'm not trying to disprove any theory. If anything, I am attempting to further the research and bring greater clarity to these theories. I had taken to reading about physics early in life and was very lucky at that time to be around older college students, many of whom were studying physics. Like what I am presenting here, many such conversations were questioning the gray areas where relativity meets quantum mechanics. A lot of the history was discussed along with some of the potential loopholes. As I grew older, I witnessed one of the great catastrophes in science that never really gets talked about today. Yet at the time, this was a common saying. The Vietnam War was not long over, but it was still a recent event, and almost everyone had some degree in science. Those that got a degree in nuclear physics got a government job. Those that got a degree in quantum mechanics got a job working for a computer company. Those that got a degree in relativity got a job washing dishes. So I watched as many of those concepts were lost. To quote Token from Lord of the Rings, and some things that should not have been forgotten were lost. History became legend, legend became myth. Personally, I love popular science. It can be very entertaining. Sadly though, most of the time it is lacking in depth of history. Using Albert Einstein as an example, he was a great innovator, but he did not tackle the cosmos all by himself. Popular science fails to show the great many other scientists that contributed to his research. I find it a grave discredit to history of science when only the big names are used. It is in these dark corners of history where the best mysteries of science can be found. <laughs>